So we're gonna replace, cut a slab, place a slab there, about half a slab or two thirds of a slab. And then we're gonna repoint this patio and jet wash it down as well. So we measured 305 mil from there to there. Same with the other end, draw a line, and now we're just going to cut that. So I've cut the slab, but we've offered it up, and that seems to fit okay. So we're just gonna prepare a little bit of muck, and we'll, we shall lay it down. So I knocked a bit of muck up in here, dry, sharp sand, two shovels of sharp sand, half a shovel of um, cement. We're gonna add a little bit of water and knock it up. Yep, yeah, so I've offered that up. I didn't bother using a level, I just come off the three sides. One, two, and well, two sides essentially. Lay my trowel up. It's pretty good to go, it's leveled there. So I just sighted that in by eye. And now we're gonna point. So we've pointed along, just underneath the slab on the face there, using the sharp sand and cement. I just want to say about this slab, when you're laying slabs, always make sure they're laid on a full bed and not dot and dab. So that whole bed underneath there is solid and then tap the, this down. What you don't want to do is have a dot of cement now, dot of cement now, and there and there, and then you have voids and weaknesses. Okay, to um, point the patio up, we're going to use this product here, Easy Joint, really, really easy to use, uh, <laughs> hence the name. Essentially, it's like this, granular. Um, and the idea is, is to keep the patio soaking wet. All the time this stuff's wet, it won't go off. It only goes off when it's dry. In fact, I could leave the remaining of this, um, so I could leave a half of this pack in here and fill it up with water. And all the time it's underwater, it wouldn't go off. So it goes off after it's dry. And the mistake people do is they keep the patio too dry. And then this stuff goes off and sticks to the edge of the patio. So what I'm do, gonna do is I'm gonna wet the patio down, make it soaking wet, split this bag open, pour it over, sweep it into the crevices, or into the joint, should I say, uh, keeping it wet, and then as it goes off, it'll dry lovely. Yeah, so you literally um, soak the, the patio and pour it on like that, and then we're gonna sweep it in. Yep, so we've, um, we've brushed that in. Um, wet down, we've brushed most of the residue off. And let it dry off a little bit and then give another sweep off and there you have it basically once it's swept off um and it's, it's go off it's set it goes nice and hard it's an easy way of doing or a real quick way and easy of being able to point that up i really like it i've used this product quite a bit on different jobs and yeah it's really successful and lasts as well it stands the test of time I've got some left out of that pack, you see it there, so what I'm going to do now, I'll just fill that up with water, and as long as it's a easy joint material is underwater, and if I lid on it, it won't go off.